بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله question was asked السلام عليكم a madrasa provides books to teach for children on the basics of Islam including the five pillars of Islam and stories I've been through the books and majority of it seems fine but because it's Hanafi based I found for example when they mentioned how to do wudu it says to wipe the neck and also men have their hands below their belly button, their navel, uh, in salat, and women on their chest. However, the strongest opinion is there is no difference between men and women in salat. Also, that to wipe the neck is not legislated. I don't know how I would teach this to the children, as they do have exams based on these books, I believe. How would I explain this to them? They are four to six years of age. First and foremost... May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you for your efforts in teaching the children. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us all a, an inspiration to others. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with ikhlas with the bad Allah sunnah and Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And so I would say first and foremost that you should uh, approach your administration. Those people who are responsible for the, the madrasa. And ask them about the exam and ask them about this issue. I mean, they they more than likely are probably fairly staunch about their what's being taught. Unfortunately, this tends to be the case with some of our brothers and sisters or many of our brothers and sisters, regardless of their medheb, is a lot of people tend to be very uh, prejudiced towards their medheb and do not want to hear the contrary at all, regardless of whether it's based on Dalil, strong evidence from the Quran and the Sunnah of the Message of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Madhab of the Salaf Asari. So, <clears throat> with that being the case, I would say first, you need to uh, go to your administrator and find out if they're being examined uh, on this uh, topic, if this is going to be specifically in the exam. Uh, secondly, the fact that it's contrary to your belief and what you feel is the strongest view according to the evidence. Some of the things are are, are not based on evidence, but they're based on just the medhab. This presents a dilemma. So in general, I would say not to teach those kind of, uh, teach those things which are uh, going against your view. So meaning a lot of the scholars, they mention that out of hikmah, and this is a little bit outside of your mas'ala, but there's a relationship there. That when the uh, mashayikh and students of knowledge and du'at al-khair, when they go out and give da'wah, for example, if someone comes from a society which is mainly Hanafi in their madhab, or they're mainly uh, Maliki, or Shafi'i, or uh, Hanbali, what have you, that they, from hikmah, is to use and teach the books of that madhab. So go through those books, but give them the qol araja. Qol araja. The, uh, the most correct view in accordance with the evidence. So that means you're not blind following the text, but you present the masail from that text. You go through the text and then you say, but in this uh, point, the most correct view is based on adillah, based on evidence from the Quran and the Sunnah. Then no one can say that, say, say much about that. Because you're not just giving evidence, but you're still going through that as your base text. So this is one of the things that many of the ulama, they mention to the tulab, especially when they're going out to their various societies, because they come from various societies and background. The fact that you're teaching small children that uh, four to six years of age, obviously you don't want to confuse them. You need to give them this foundation. But I would say first is to... Uh, discuss that with your administration if they are even open to listening and find out also about the exam situation. So, because if they're going to be tested on this, then you want to give them the material that they're tested on. And as long as you are not teaching them something like, for example, if you were teaching an issue of Akida and the Akida's Ashari versus uh, the Akida of Ahl Sunnah, well, then you can't obviously teach that, regardless of who you're working for. 
or uh, as far as especially if you're teaching it to spread it and in a source of dawa to children who have young, ripe minds uh, to be educated. So you have to be cautious about those things. But since it's an issue and some issues regarding to Masa al Fara'iyah or, you know, uh, basically thick issues that uh, you where there may be more room for uh, differences of opinions and so forth, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best as far as there not being any harm for those young children, four to six years old. But I would approach the issue by first going to your administrator and trying to find out if they're going to be tested exactly on these things. And secondly, what role you have as a teacher. Can you teach them that opinion which you feel is most correct or which is most supported by evidence or not? Or they say, no, we just want you to regurgitate the material that we're giving you. So you need to have an idea about that. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad.